Kevin, so great to meet you. Thanks. This film has been in development for so many years now. This yeah. was offered to you 10 years ago. Why did you say no then and yes now? I don't know, I guess it didn't, it didn't seem like it fit. You know, I, um, I could get over that wall pretty easy. Yeah. And I still could get over it, but I had to play a character who couldn't. And 10 years ago, it didn't seem like that I would be able to pull that off. I've read that you find um, opening your weekends very tough. Having this film land on Netflix, does that take some of the pressure away and you can just enjoy this being out there? I think these kind of movies, because we know, you know what our younger audiences are flocking to see and, and probably a, a movie about two aging guys and um, Texas Rangers hunting down Bonnie and Clyde. I think that the, the general consensus was that was not a movie that they felt that you know could just have one of these giant weekends. And so that's the beauty of Netflix, of, of what, what's happened, because now this movie's made. Yeah. When, when people would have been kind of weighing it, well, 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 and um, that doesn't happen. And so now a lot of movies are finding their way. Frank says in this film about Bonnie and Clyde, people idolize them, we need to end it, it's never easy, it's not pretty. I felt that part of that statement could belong to, um, in Hollywood, yeah. in that, you know, people, when they meet Kevin Costner, do they ever think, of you as more of one of your characters because you've played a lot of the save the day type characters yeah. do they expect you to be that well i've been in restaurants where somebody was choking and i was pretty far away and i saw the whole audience look at me like i should go <laughs> fix that you know it's like uh yeah well i'll go over there but it was like just they assign a lot to to you do you know what i mean just yeah. unnaturally but they but they they do it i I've, I've been aware of the power of movies and i've been able to be a part of movies that hopefully uh, uh, people will continue to watch and share. You initially, as we said, said no to this, but then you ended up saying yes. Are there any roles in your career that you did say no to, and now you look back and go, oh, I just wish I'd done that one? Yeah, no, I, there's a couple. It just happens sometimes for different reasons, you know, and you, you make up your mind about that, but you just, I've been, I've been really happy the most that my career hasn't spiraled down to one movie, which is, you know, when somebody comes up to you, it's always one movie, it's always one movie. That would have disappointed me. Now, when someone comes up to me, it could be one of 10 or 12 movies mm -hmm. that they might mention, and I like that because it means they're speaking to different people. It's funny you say that because when I told people I was coming over to interview you, everyone had a different movie. So what's your movie, your Kevin Costner I film? don't have that. I mean, no? I, listen, I, because if I, the minute I have one, I disown the other children. <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, but you know, I, I think I probably, I think I probably do. But that, what you just described, is the thing that makes me happy. Is because yeah. I actually don't know what's going to come out of somebody's mouth. What I also admire about you is your film choices. But you're one of the very few actors in Hollywood. If when you look down your CV, there's no blah blah two or three. You don't do sequels. When you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a conscious decision, no, or did that just no, happen? No, I want to make a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, Kevin? No, no, no. No, but what happens is is that I really, um, I respect the movies I did, and if the sequel's not as good, I won't do it. Yeah. You know, when on paper, people agree to do the sequel before the the other one movie is even done. Oh, well, so, you know, and I'm so kind of basic. I go, I need to see the script, because if someone likes The Bodyguard, if I make Bodyguard 2 or Ten Cup 2 or Bull Durham 2 or yeah. or Dancers with Wolves 2 and 3 and blah, 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 and if they're not as good, it's going to bother me. Yeah. That's probably not really great uh, business advice. Somebody goes, do it. Do the <laughs> second one. Do the third one. Are you nuts? <laughs> you know? And it's like, I guess probably I am. But no, I, um, I there's a Western I want to do that's like four parts, yeah. all the same story. You know, and people go, oh, Kevin, why? You know, it's like, I go, well, it's a sequel. And everybody goes, yeah, but if the first one doesn't work, I said, the first one's going to be great. They're going <laughs> to, and it's like, so So now when I talk about doing sequel, they go, oh, no, you can't do it that way. We, I, you know, I just think, uh, I don't know. I've had fun doing this. Yeah, I love that you say that because there's another quote I've read um, where you've talked about the Oscars and you've said, I believe in the Oscars. I'm a romantic about our business. And after spending so many years in a particular business, usually when you're so close to something, you just go, I'm over it. I know how it works. Why are you still so passionate about it? Because something, you know, like I actually missed the curtain 
there's something about the curtain opening. The lights go out, right, and then the movie starts. But I liked it when the lights went out and then the curtains open, because I always thought something magic can happen. Yeah. Now we all watch movies that aren't good, and we go, but there's this. Anything's possible when this is happening. That you could watch the movie that's going to mean the most to you, or you're going to think back on years from now. You're going to share with your own kids. So I am a romantic about it. I I I, um, I like. I understand what's problematic about our business. I get that perfectly, but I still love the idea of a story you never heard. Let me tell you one, and when I get to the end, you go, "That was the best story." Well, I can't wait for more of your stories. Thank you for sharing so many right. with us. All right.